Hello friends, in our last video of DSC module, we learn how to control the colors of light using a switch. In this video, we are going to know how to control the rotation of a fan using a switch. First, let us open the image navigator from DSC module. As we already know, from this image navigator, we are going to use the images needed in our program. Next, on the front panel, we are placing a boolean round LED. To customize this boolean LED, we have to do a right click on this LED, then go to advanced and on clicking customize, a front panel will open with this LED and here we are going to customize it. Next from image navigator, I am selecting two selector switches and placing them on this front panel. So we can see different type of switches in image navigator, whatever type of switch we need, we can select and use them. After placing the switches in the front panel, we have to import these switches into the boolean round LED. So first we have to set this front panel to customize mode and then right click on this first selector switch and select copy to clipboard and then just do a right click on boolean LED. And then by selecting import picture from clipboard, we have imported this selector switch into the boolean LED for its false condition. As we know that boolean LED contain two condition that is true and false. We have imported one of the switch for its false condition and we have to import the other switch for its true condition. After changing this front panel to edit mode, if we click on the switch we have imported, we can see a green round LED behind this. This is the true condition of the LED. So we are going to import the second selector switch to this green LED. So we have to follow the same procedure as we did before. We have to change this front panel to edit mode and then copy the second selector switch and import it to the green LED. Now I am renaming boolean as switch 2 so now we have imported both the switches after importing we can delete the switches we have placed now i am saving this front panel i am naming it as switch 2 after saving this if we try to close this front panel a dialog box will open asking replace this original control boolean with the switch 2 we have to select yes and then here we have to click on save. Now we can see that our boolean LED on main print panel has been replaced with the switch. If we click on this switch, we can see both the switches we have imported. Next again I am selecting and placing a boolean round LED. And now I am going to customize this boolean round LED with the fan. I am doing the same thing as I did before. I am doing a right click on this boolean round LED. I am going to advanced and then clicking on customize. Our front panel has opened with this boolean round LED. And I am selecting fan images from category blowers. I am selecting two fan images and placing them on this front panel. So these are the two fan images we are going to import. We can import the images one by one. First we have to change this front panel to customize mode. Then do a right click on this first fan image and select copy to clipboard. Then just do a right click on LED and then by selecting import picture from clipboard we have imported this first fan image into the boolean led for its false condition after that we have to import the next fan image to this boolean green led that is for its true condition by following the same procedure now i am renaming boolean as fan so after importing we can delete the fan images that we have placed on the front panel now i am saving this front panel by naming it as fan if we try to close this front panel uh, dialog box will open in this dialog box we have to click on yes and here we have to select save now we can see that our a boolean led on main front panel has been replaced with switch if we click on this fan and switch images we can see both the images that we have imported to this boolean led now on block diagram screen for continuous execution i am placing a while loop from structures 
now i am changing this switch boolean led and fan boolean led into a control by doing a right click on them and selecting change to control in real time we will connect switch control to the digital output to control the real time fan but in scada animation on off should happen of its own so we are connecting the true or false with not gate to the local variable to give stop condition to this while loop i am connecting a control and then i am placing this fan boolean led inside a k structure we know that k structure has two cases true and false now i am connecting switch boolean led to the k selector terminal and in the true case of the k structure we have to connect the fan boolean led to the not gate so i am placing a not gate and i am connecting this fan boolean led to the input terminal of the not gate and now i am placing a local variable and i am connecting the output terminal of the not gate to the local variable and on the false case of the k structure i have not given anything now we can run this program when we move this switch to the true condition we can see the fan rotation when we move back to the off condition the fan will get stopped if we move again the switch back to the on condition the fan will rotate to stop this program execution we have to click on stop button to make this program to execute with some delay i'm placing a wait function and i'm connecting a constant to it i'm giving 100 millisecond if we run this program this program will be executed with 100 millisecond delay so in this video we have seen how to control the rotation of a fan with a switch in our next video we can see our next topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you